Well, Martin, a strange night in a, more than one way. What's your overall verdict? Um, a reality check for us, really, and the efficiency of a team like Bromley. Have, obviously, we're a work in progress, and Bromley had been there a bit longer than us, and they didn't make any mistakes, and we made two, and that's reflected on the scoreline. I think, in defence of um, the way we went about it, the, um, the stoppages didn't help in the first half. We did start very well. Uh, we said at half-time it was probably one of our best starts, and then the lights failed, and, and then we did get going for the first resumption. The second resumption, we were quite poor, I thought, up till half time. But we tried to win the game with the substitutions at nil nil. Um, that's Dowsey's way, not to just uh, sit back and, and maybe play it out for a point. Um, but two individual mistakes have cost us, and um, that's the story of the night, really. Yeah, I, I've been coming here since 1992, and I can't remember the floodlights failing in all the games I've ever been to. Uh, you've mentioned it there. How much does it disrupt? I mean, wh what do you say when the referee takes you into the dressing room? Well, he took the players into the dressing room. Well, we so, stayed yeah. out, actually, Sorry. because oh, okay. we wanted to see what was going to happen. Um, I can actually go back into this ground when there were no floodlights, and I don't <laughs> remember any failures when they brought them in. So, uh, yeah, it was... Um, uh, sort of thing that does happen you you see it up and down the country games abandoned through floodlight failure probably now we're wishing it was abandoned but uh, the referee said it wasn't possible to play with all the lights out over there but obviously um, behind the scenes was a, a lot of good work done by Dave Curtis and John Katz himself was involved in it and we we came up with a formula or they came up with a formula um, that, that got the game finished and I don't think it interrupted. Once once we got to that, that period where we could actually start for the third time and we got to half time and played the second half without any interruption. So no uh, suggestion really that had any impact on the way no. that the, um, the game was played out. And I must compliment the officials because I thought they handled the situation very well. They made it quite clear that if there was um, only three lights, the game wouldn't um, be able to proceed. Um, but Which they, is ironic because there's only two. Yes, <laughs> I think they. In fairness, I think I believe they decided when the two came on full that it, yeah. it was okay. No, I was meaning continue. the three, the three. Oh, the I three beg your pardon. Uh, Understood. And uh, um, but yeah, and he had to make that decision when it it sort of cut back a bit again. But he made the right decision, and um, no complaints about the game being played at all. In fact, we're we're pleased in one way because Joe McNerney has now served his three match suspension, and he can play when we resume in a. Ten days' time when we play Southend, and he can play here against Brentford on Friday evening. I must mention that because um, it's a chance to see. I'm sure they'll bring some quality players. Their first team are playing away at Burnley. They'll probably bring some fans as well. So um, you know, as they ask us for the friendly, we're happy to right. to get a game for some of the boys like um, Jordan Maguire, Drew obviously came back, and Tyreek hasn't played very much. Jamal Loza hasn't played very much, and Joe can have a game himself. So. It'll be a very useful friendly, and then actually, uh, it'll be nice to get down to business again after the disappointment of this evening. Sure. Um, was Dows at all tempted to do a bit of rotation, given that, that you know we only just played on Saturday, and it has been quite a heavy workload at times. Yeah, I, I mean, it, obviously, it, a win is a win, and the team expects to mm. be really in the team the next time the, the players who are involved mm. in the game on Saturday. Um, I don't think they're, those who are pushing from the bench have pushed quite hard enough. They're close, and certainly we're quite happy with some of the depth of the squad. Maybe one or two positions. I mean, Innie wasn't um, uh, he got a, a knock to add to that may be a little bit fatigued. Um, we haven't got a like for like replacement for him, um, and it was with a bit of reluctance that we, we made that change, I think. But it gave Jamal uh, a chance to you know, show what he can do, and there were one or two flashes from him. Uh, we did make some chances. I think the one, the real one, was Rowan's right at the start of the, the second half, and if that goes in. But uh, so compliment Bromley because they they know exactly how their game works. Um, they just didn't blink really. They just kept us out and. For all the um, finesse that we tried to apply, it wasn't enough. And as I say, if you make mistakes at the other end, which we did, then the outcome is what the final scoreline was. Yeah, I think that's the nub of it, really. I mean, we've only failed to gain one point, really, because it was only ever going to be a draw, I think. 
if, had we not conceded. And I think Dance would have said w- well, when, when he made would, the changes. Yeah. I mean, that, I've been with him 16 years and he doesn't um, sit back and let games just play out. You know? No, and no. He, but I th- he's, a, he's a bit of a gambler in terms of trying to get the three points and risk getting none. And sure. Maybe that risk was taken tonight. It didn't work out, but there have been plenty of other times at all the clubs that we've worked at where it's worked spectacularly and uh, I must say I thought we were doing well enough for, for that to be the case but as I say if you the first goal was just one of those things Musa had an excellent game apart from that and the surface was slick he obviously thought the ball was going to skid out and it didn't and we paid the price yeah that was uh, very unfortunate for someone who has his name chanted by the mm. Kingfield Road end to make a, an unfortunate error like that, very, very unusual. And then we didn't pick up at the corner and that's the second goal and, as I say, two individual mistakes and a 2-0 defeat. OK, well, thanks very much for coming out and talking to us and uh, we'll look forward to the friendly on Friday. Yeah, can please come because uh, it's an initiative from the club. We want to try and forge a relationship with Brentford as well. They're pretty close. They've got a lot of good players. So. Sure. Um, and uh, they've invited us, or they've invited themselves to play us, and we're delighted to, to reciprocate and say, yeah, come on, bring it on on Friday. Brilliant, thank you.